Welcome to Paihia. So I got double room with the kitchen and ensuite. So I just arrived. Um, didn't know where my room was, so I just asked some people. I was like, "Oh, do you know where room nine is?" And they're like, "Oh, you must be in." So what's what's Buckingham? We couldn't find it. I was like, "Oh, that's weird." So they'd already googled me, found out all the things, and then whilst I was trying to get in my room. They didn't know that I was there, and they were like, oh, yeah, <laughs> he's a celebrity from England, which is mental. Um, so they think that, and it's really weird. Someone just broke into my room for me because the key didn't work. Hello. I'm in Pai here, walking around. Stuff. Do your funny noise. <laughs> Sounds like he's connecting to a 56 kV modem. I'll stall in Ahipara. Double beds. No one here. Kitchen. Oh, some weird Australian person. So. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just investigating driving on the beach. See people walking. Tire tracks. And I saw a car literally driving everywhere. There it is. So it's 100% fine. Just stay on the hard sand. Ninety mile beach. Apparently, someone said it's ninety kilometers and never disappointed. <laughs> really? Uh, Chris, four wheel drives recommended. There's cars <laughs> literally in the water. <laughs> I'm going that way. Stop. Yeah, don't stop. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's get that bird. Oh, it feels mental. <laughs> I guess I should say in these tire tracks. Driving on the beach. <laughs> I'm going to crash. <laughs> Still making it. Oh no, there's a little bit of water. Oh. I don't want salt water in the engine. <laughs> well, you're getting salt water in there. Yeah. Oh, that's so, that's so salty. <laughs> oh, no. I think we've got bigger issues. <laughs> <laughs> Four by four? Nah. Why bother, mate? Go to the other sandcastle. Four by four not required. It's definitely fine to drive your car along the beach. As long as you stay when it's low tide in the hard sand. And now we leave. Bye everyone. I can't even remember where the exit is. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> is it there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a good old run up. This will be interesting. Oh yeah, like you can easily get stuck in here if you don't have a four-wheel drive. <laughs> Top tip, get a run up for that bit. Yeah, you're onto the road. Yeah, so that's fine. That was easy. Remarks, you don't need a four by four. All you people on TripAdvisor are stupid. Goodbye. <laughs> here we 
got to a gate in the end. Oh, no, he's just helping us out that man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's not. I'm doing like the side. Two oceans meet. Run along the beach. It's 90 miles long, but I do a bit of it. I love that the windows are open. Definitely see it's just unlocked. I'm just going to sit here though. Mm. A leaf on the floor. Hello. Duck friends. What's that? Yeah. So we're staying tonight. How big that tree is. It's massive. There's that one over there as well. To put things in perspective, that's my finger. It's about the same size as the tree. Hey Ian, you've got to go to Dargaville. There's a museum. Just had a quick go on that. It's quite fun. Finished up around the North Island and the North of North Island and now heading down to Wellington. Just had some lunch. Arrived in Wellington. I drove down from Auckland to Palmerston North. About a five hour drive. And then two hours to Wellington from there. Uh, now I'm here for four days. Zealandia Bird Sanctuary. I have a night tour in a minute. Um, but just going walking around in the day before it starts. Duncan. Duncan. Yeah? 
How are you? When I got to Palmerston North North, I bought this bike. It's on giant, it was $300. Doesn't have disc brakes, the brakes are rubbish, but it rides really well. It's crazy if you cycle 30 minutes south of Wellington and you get like great cool views. Four wheel drive only, should have bought my car. I forgot to mention I saw two wild kiwis in the nature reserve yesterday. You could argue they're not wild because they're in the nature reserve, but I thought they were. Oh, I can't believe this is Wellington. So I'm just cycling along this. This is called Red Rocks, I think. And what I'm on now is technically a road or a walking track. I'm cycling along it. Ah, I guess this is why they call it Red Rock. There's all the red rocks. Oh, just there. Uh, bikes made it pretty far, but it starts to get like really horrible and stony. Reminds me of when we were in Italy. We had no puncture repair kit. Same as me now. I'm gonna go like up a hiking route back to see how that goes. Ricky! Ricky. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, it'd be a good idea to walk up here with my bike. Wellington. I didn't realise it looked like this. The walk was worth it. I've ended up on this pretty mental single track bike thing. No one else on it. And then like mental view of the city over there as well. Felt pretty weird in the planetarium. I think it's basically for kids and their parents. And no, I was just there on my own. <laughs> A few days in Wellington, now I'm leaving to go to the South Island by the ferry. Uh, some weird things in the hostel. I'd like to make a big list of all the mental things that people do, but it's impossible because there's so many. Girl looking mental, opening a can with a knife, just hacking away at it. Um, that man that I just filmed a minute ago looks like a lunatic. Um, oh, the things people eat, things people talk about in the kitchen, they're all insane. But technically I'm one of them as well, and probably do the same thing. Like filming myself whilst sat in a car with people watching me over there. 